It's early morning at your favorite park, and oh my gosh, a roller coaster just got stuck on the middle of the ride. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Well, what's actually happening is block checks, um, and that's what I'm going to explain here today. So, um, we're going to kind of go over the opening procedures for a roller coaster as a whole. Obviously, not in too much detail, but in, in some detail, and No Limits 2 is a little bit limiting, ironically. Um, so, I won't be able to do everything quite as realistic as I'd like, but it's something. Also, I'd recommend you watch my video on blocks if you haven't already, as if you're new to blocks, this will be pretty confusing if you haven't seen that video already. Without further ado, let's get started. So, by the time that I'm about to do what I'm about to do, um, we would have already run multiple trains through, uh, gotten the trains warmed up before we did any kind of block checks. Um, now, for No Limits 2, I'm gonna have to put this in manual. Basically, if I were to leave this in automatic, and I were to press dispatch here, this train would leave, the next train would automatically pull in without me touching any buttons, without me holding anything down, without any of that. Um, and that's not realistic, but because of how No Limits 2 works, I'm going to have to use this manual block here. So if you see me, you will see me restarting blocks and stuff, just kind of ignore it. Uh, let's go ahead and dispatch this train out of here. Again, these trains have already been warmed up for the sake of demonstration. Basically what we're doing right now is just stacking trains. If you don't know what that means, it's basically where we have trains waiting out on the brake run to come into the station. So basically what we're testing here is that if the next block before a train is occupied, that the train will actually set up and not go into that block, which would obviously cause trains to bump. Uh, that's not generally good. You want to avoid that. So we'll see here. This train will go through the layout without any problem. Um, just because of how No Limits 2 works, I'm going to have to press this lift button, which will make it go forward. But you see it allows me to do that. Um, when the next block ahead of it is occupied, you'll see that it won't allow me to uh, move the train to the next block. So we're going to move, move through the blocks here. So this particular ride, Viper at Magic Mountain, has a couple blocks. So we've got the station as a block. We've got the lift hill as a whole block. Then we've got from the end of the lift hill to all the way through this first part of the layout to the mid-course brake run here. That is a block. And then from the end of the mid-course brake run, which I'm going to wait for this train to go through it. So I have to forward through it as well. There we go. So from the end of the mid-course brake run all the way through this inversion, these inversions, all the way to the end of this block break here is one block as well. And we've got one final block that extends from there all the way to the end of the station. And this is a test that takes place every single morning. Um, again, prior to this, there would have been multiple runs without setting up any blocks, just cycling trains through, warming up the trains. All right, so that train stops there. Now we can move this train in. We're gonna go and speed up the game a little bit. Okay, that train moves in. We're going to go ahead and dispatch it out. There we go. So you see that train now goes up the lift. And now all you smart people in the comments, where is this train going to stop? If you guessed the mid-course brake run, then you guessed correctly. Um, because obviously, the next block ahead of it is occupied. There's a train sitting on that brake over there. It's going to stop in the lift because of no limits too. There we go. But you see I can forward it over. Gonna run through the course, the first part of the course, hit the trim brakes again, not part of the block system, completely unrelated, and boom, stops in the mid course. Let's go ahead and turn the speed back to normal. All right, so now we've got a train stopped here, and we've got a train over here, and you can see I can't forward it through the mid course brake run because the block is occupied. So we can now pull this train here forwards. And again, that train will stay here. And there is something interesting that happens with a lot of these arrow mid-course brake runs especially. I'm not really sure on if you have to do it with B&Ms and other newer rides. Um, but on these arrows, they have a problem of if the trains aren't warmed up enough or if it's a particularly cold day, the train could stop far enough behind the mid-course brake run um, to where there's a risk of it rolling backwards. Um, so that's why when you're actually clearing these blocks, again, you wouldn't be able to do it from a panel like in the in the operator booth at all. Um, you'd actually send someone out to the lift, probably some or out to the uh, base of the mid-course brake run, probably around here. You also have maintenance come out because they have to see, look up, and see. Okay, yeah, 
parked far enough or no, it didn't park far enough. We need to go up there and push it to make sure it doesn't roll backwards. Um, and if you have someone here, obviously, if they open the brakes, it starts rolling backwards, they can quickly close it. Um, it's It happens. So move this train in, into the station, and then you can guess where this train will stop once we dispatch it out of the station. That will be at the crest of the lift hill. Um, after that, we'll have checked all the blocks, and we will be able to um, send test riders and then get the ride open. Go ahead and dispatch the next train. So to start climbing the lift hill there. So see the train here is approaching the crest of the lift hill and it stops. And you can see I cannot forward it over no matter how hard I try because obviously if I did, where would it stop next? It would have to stop right here, which obviously it can't because there's a train there. So this ride has passed the morning checks uh, for blocks. So we'll just place it in automatic mode for No Limits 2 and we're also going to get a second lesson um, <laughs> because of the way No Limits 2 works and it's kind of dumb in uh, interval because right now what No Limits 2 is going to do is as soon as the next block is clear, it's going to restart the lift. You would never do that in real life because what's going to happen is this train is not going to make it uh, into the next block section before this one does. So this is actually this train here is actually going to stop in the mid-course brake run. Um, you wouldn't want that because maintenance will then have to come back out and do the same thing because you're not worried about if each individual train is stopping because that's not the ride system doesn't care about each individual train uh, you're care you're caring about if the ride system is recognizing where a train is so we'll see here and it's gonna actually stop here only for a brief second In real life you'd have to send someone out here call maintenance whole big big bunch of problems you wouldn't want to have to deal with See that train's now back in the station. And at this point, you would load your test rider or riders, and uh, you would be ready to uh, send them around, send around test riders in the next train. They say everything's all good, then you're all good to open the ride. So that is some of the checks that goes on every morning before your favorite rides open to the public. Uh, I think I did an okay job explaining them. Just okay. It's not okay, but uh, it'll have to do. Um, no Limits 2 is not the greatest tool for this, but yeah, I think that's about all I have to say about uh, morning checks. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them. And yeah, if you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me reenact in No Limits 2, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, one final thing I'd like to mention is the only reason this video came out today is because the What Really Happened video I've been working on is taking a little bit longer than expected, so it'll actually come out next Saturday instead of this Saturday. In the meantime, you guys had this video.